Oh, completely. And and when you with these headlines, what does that doesn't do anything to inform the public? Isn't that supposed to be the media is supposed to be the watchdog for the people? The media is supposed to simply give you the information that is happening nationally and in your community. And from these facts, you draw your conclusion. But there are so many people, Grant, who enter media and they want power and they want the ability to influence and they want to be close to power. So they trade that objectivity and they trade that tooth t truth to telling for a little bit of power, for a closer, uh, proxim a closer proximity to power, a closer proximity, greater influence. And that's what they do. It's th these individuals that do this, they are, they've betrayed the media. And for the New York Times, who has always sort of modeled itself as the golden standard, right? The gold standard of journalism. And now they want to act as though, well, you know, here, this is we, we alone have the truth and we report things in deep, rich detail. And they took exception to being called out by the NRA. Well, you know what? Thank heavens that someone called out the New York Times for its malpractice because their fake news, their propaganda that they put out there, I would dare say that it's actually costing lives. It's doing further to perpetuate violence. It's doing further to, it's going more to perpetuate crime because it refuses to report on the actual causes of crime and instead focuses on all of the incidentals that have nothing to do with the actual motivations behind these individuals who continue to go out and reoffend. Yeah.